What's going on, guys? Um, figured I'd do another hobby video. I've been asked a couple of places, uh, direct message, private message on Facebook, and some YouTube uh, comments on um, how I painted uh, my Africa Corps army. So I've already done a <clears throat> an article up on No Dice, No Glory. Um, on how to do the infantry, but I figured I'd do the vehicles. Um, these are what the vehicles are going to look like. This is my Aufklärung uh, Schwadron, which is the cool little formation you can get if you get the Africa Corps command cards out of uh, the Flames of War. Thanks to Phil uh, from the Carlton U uh, Gaming Club uh, a couple weeks ago. We had a game and uh, I was able to acquire three more scout cars, which you see assembled here. Um, which I will use in my uh, in the Elfklarung unit. And from my late war, I have repurposed two Puma bodies. I think these are actually the Pumas with the weird cannon turrets, so they're like the short 7.5 centimeter turrets that you can't really use anymore uh, in the Army's late war. So right now, I'm using them to kind of going to be painting them and I'm using these turrets aren't going to be the turrets that they're using um, those are going to be these two um, Panzer II turrets but the kit that I got from Phil does have the 2.8 centimeter guns turrets which is why these are the spare turrets and according to the card if you see here replace any or all 221 MG's with 221 2.8's at no cost so that little Panzerbuchs um, 41, which is this gun here, same gun that the German infantry have that's pretty good. It's AT7 um, instead of MGs for no cost. Heck yes. So I figured I'd assemble these turrets and I'll, I'll hand them out to some of my other units as well. Um, right now, they're and this right here is the last models I need to paint for my Africa Corps army. So I'm pumped to get these done today. Um, they're already uh, obviously assembled, painted black. I've then painted Vallejo green brown. Hard to see there, but uh, I've got the eight, uh, Vallejo 879 green brown. And right now we're just going to be slapping a dry brush of 914 green ochre, which is, there's almost no green in any of these colors, but uh, never mind. So we'll catch you when I am done uh, dry brushing the green ochre, which won't be very long because it's just straight up dry brushing. All right, and this is with the green ochre, um, dry brush on top of the green brown. Just a quick and dirty overbrush. Um, we're doing progressively lighter dry brushes with uh, dark sand or pale sand or Africa highlight, but uh, trucking along, so they're looking good. We'll see you after the next step. Alrighty, I've got the second dry brush on of uh, Panzer Aces, Vallejo Panzer Aces Africa Core Highlight, which is uh, color 340. If you can't get a hold of this color, um, I'm lucky there's one hobby store in town that sells Panzer Aces. Um, you can substitute for um, you can the dark sand over there. I mean, there is a yellow to tan difference there. Um, German camo beige also will work um, really just anything that's lighter and as you can see here with this scout car it's getting close to this one here um, I am going to be doing the sponge chipping so if you look at some of the finished scout cars um, actually especially the uh, eight rads you can see uh, the gray scuffing on there that is because some units uh, were sent to North Africa and they were still painted early war gray and then over top of that they painted the tan colors but as you know they drove around and were used and you know hand holds and um, anywhere the crew would would step over there would be some gray to show through so the next step is going to be sponge chipping with gray and then we're going to use uh, dark sand or pale sand depending on how I how I feel. My pale sand has been pretty bad in terms of it's too liquid so I might have to just use dark sand to dry brush on top of the once we do the sponge chipping which will just give that nice little final highlight and then we can get to work on the part that honestly takes the longest but looks the coolest is stowage and so and crew. So we'll catch you after the sponge chipping. 
All right, we're gonna try the, uh, I'm gonna try and do this live. I've done all the other vehicles. So with chip sponging, all you're doing is you're taking um, the foams that your blister packs come in, or even in like, like the box of the 222, um, cut up in little sections here. It's like dry brushing. Uh, so basically you just dip the end in there. And if you can see over here, you just wanna get a random kind of, a, a, a good amount of stuff on here. And then you just dab it on. The difference between this and dry brushing is that the pattern of the foam is what's gonna determine on here. So we'll see if the video can catch it. So I'm just doing it on fenders first. Of course I use the one with the, I don't know if you can see that, if it's gonna focus in or not. So it's coming along there. So typically I do fenders first and where the men, I mean, these little doors and everything, they would be heavily used. They would, you know, the men would use the these as handholds to climb up a, on a board. Uh, Toolboxes in the back. So because, I mean, you could go really crazy into thinking every possibility, but realistically, just fire it on here. And the reason, and again, we're covering up our old dry brush, but that's no big deal. This is why we're doing this step now before the final dry brush. Um, in the front, if it's, you know, if, if these guys are driving line astern, the lead vehicle would kick up a lot of rocks. So the front I would do quite a lot of. If you can see there, that, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let me just do this side here. And again, it doesn't take too long, but it ends up looking really good. And um, Africa Corps, oh, I'm sorry, Africa Corps is one of the few armies where you can do this um, where it's the colors are really stark and that it's gray it's supposed to show from underneath um, you could do the same technique with uh, like I love using USA tan earth as dried mud so you could use this same technique instead of dry brushing on the sides of like a late war Sherman and it looks really really good um, so there's that uh, one note on these open topped turrets. These guys would obviously be grabbing the sides quite a lot so you might want to do more on some of these little open top turrets but I mean I'm thinking these are looking pretty good. And again that didn't take me very long. We're gonna do the last dry brush step. Um, oh and the color I used was uh, dark gray uh, 70994 if you want to go darker, you can go with German gray. I mean, you can go with whatever gray you want. I find dark gray, um, because it's on tan, you know, I, I just use dark gray. So anywho, on to the next step. All right, so I'm done with the dark sand, uh, Vallejo 847 dark sand. Um, again, like I mentioned before, we're just doing a really light dry brush. I've left this um, 8 rad chassis not done so you can see the difference so see on the fender here it's still all gray you could leave it like that but I did the last especially on the front fender here you can see where it's gray but then you can see there's a little bit of dust um, same with the scout car so that that extra little um, dry brush does actually make a difference sorry I almost dropped my um, camera there so now we're at the stage of uh, doing the uh, stowage and crew and all this. You do that how you like, um, but I will finish off mine and show you the optional, but if you look on here, the black lining around all the panels, um, I'll show you how to do that. It is actually easy once you kind of cheat and it's the cheating part is you're using a pen to do all the work for you. Um, and again, from close up, like you look, it looks kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's really, really black around all these little panels and everything. But from far away, like it look, it, it, it makes the contrast stand out. So it's it's very much a tabletop thing. It'll look really good on the tabletop. It'll actually, um, like if you zoom in way much on my, uh, my eight rides, like it looks kind of ridiculous. It looks overdone on the eight rads, but from far away, the eight rads look the best. So, I mean, that's gonna be your mileage varies, but we're nearing the end here. So 
I will catch you after I'm done all the stowage and the crew and I will do the pen work. All right, I've done the detailing. So <clears throat> long process, but very, fairly simple. Go back over and clean up the wheels with the black, um, as you can see on the uh, eight rads as well. Um, dark gray for the squares where the um, uh, palm tree is going to be on the front there of the, this is a better shot of it there as soon as it zoom ins. Um, so again, they would have left a square for the uh, um, German crosses that were underneath it. I just painted those on because I'm out of decals. Um, the tarps I painted um, German field gray, as you can see there, 830, highlighted with uh, Africa cord uh, tanker highlight, which is this color here, 336. Just give me a moment here. So it's tank crew Africa core. Vallejo Panzer Aces 336. Uh, if you don't have this, green gray also works. I just happen to have it. Uh, so it worked out nice. Um, I did do a bit of inking for these uh, wheels. Um, but as you can see, I'll bring up this one here. It's a far cry in terms of um, like the lining around the, all the panels and everything. Um, from this vehicle here. So there's a couple tools in our arsenal for that. Um, sorry for the camera there, I'm just putting it on one hand. This is what I use here. It's called Sigma Micron. Uh, sorry, Pigma Micron. And what's cool about these is, I'm trying to zoom in there, so this one here says 05. So this is fairly small. I'm just going to show you here how this works. It's just basically a pen, but it's right, it's very small. So I just use this along the creases. Now what's neat is to do just softer, um, like panel edging. This is the brown brush. So it kind of goes on. So I'm doing this one handed because I've got the, I'm holding the camera on the other hand here. So here we go. Uh, very bad example here but this is what I used on the Puma or the uh, the eight rads in here what's neat is it goes all the way down to 005 so it's that small it writes very very small and it's enough to do the license plates in the back I'll show you be right back so here it is finished. Um, that pen, the 005 pen, is small enough that I could write. Uh, this is an old sign from one of my um, uh, Normandy um, bases. It snapped off. I still haven't glued it back on yet. But uh, I'll just show you the quick example of this guy here. Of course, it's zooming in on the other stuff, so I'll just... Uh, this isn't working here. There we go. So you can see um, where it's most useful is around the little vision blocks around the turret. Um, you can also see that I did a dot of white on the shoulder lapels. And then with the black pen, just did a little dot inside that to make the Waffenfarbe. But I mean, look, I just wrote down the license plates right there. You can just put in whatever you want, really. But again, it looks, uh, looks pretty sharp going around the, the door details, around these little bins and everything. You can go uh, as, as big as you want or not, but I find it makes a difference for me. So anyways, that guy's done. I just need to do the rest. And that's how I did my dudes. Um, it also does great in the wheels, as you can see here. Like the detail just stands out once you've put some black lining in there. Looks good to me. Anyways, gang, whoops, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hope it's some insight as to uh, how to paint your Africa core to look pretty cool. And uh, see you guys next time. Cheers.